Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nilesh Radhagi and you're watching Techie Programmer. So today in this video, we are going to build a Google Meet bot. So basically this Google Meet bot, what it does is it just takes the link and the time from you and joins the meeting for you at that given or the mentioned time. Let's talk about the features of this bot. So as I said, it joins, takes the link from you and joins the meeting at the time. And it also makes sure that your camera and the microphone is muted as well. Once you have joined the meeting uh, with the camera and mic is muted, that is the task that we are accomplishing after the end of this video. Let's talk about the technologies that we are going to use or the libraries that we are going to use in order to build this bot. Uh, basically, we are going to use the base Python, like Python as a basic language for this tutorial. And we are going to use few libraries such as web browser, Atopi GUI and time. So let me tell uh, briefly about what are these. So talking about Atopi GUI, it's a library that helps you to do something or click or use some keyboard combinations uh, in order to like, for example, using some hotkeys. So we will be able to do or obtain, accomplish those tasks using this Atopi GUI. And talking about the web browser module that we are going to use in order to open the link in a preferred web browser or the default web browser. So we are going to use a web browser and Atopi GUI to make sure that we click on the exact path. And we are going to use a schedule library that schedules your meeting. Like for example, if you want to join on the Saturday at 5 a.m. or p.m. So it just makes sure that uh, it works along with the time module and it will help you out and making sure that you join on the exact time. So basically we are going to use these three modules and, and we are going to make this complete tutorial or the project so i hope you would love really love this video uh make sure you hit like share and subscribe and let's get into the video so now that we are on our screen so let's dive into the code so before that what i will do is i have hosted a meeting on my mobile phone and we'll be joining that with our machine so uh, first of all what we are going to do is uh, let me just open up the chrome and let's see how the things work actually so that we can solve this problem so let me fire up the chrome here and okay so here we have it let me open this and this is the code that we are going to discuss right now but for that let me just copy the meeting link here and paste it here so once we paste so now you can see that we are here and what things we need to do is if i just hover here we can see that it says command d and i just hover here it just says command e so once we hit on these two buttons here then we are going ready with join now so i can hit this join now button and yeah i have joined the meeting so this is the basic process that we are going to do or automate so let's get started with that let me just end this meeting here and as I said, let me just go to the code here and I will explain you these three libraries. Actually, these are four libraries. One is the time module for the sleep so that we can wait for a while for the uh, GUI to load on the screen. And then we have uh, auto by pi auto GUI that stands for we can make few clicks by telling it the coordinates or as I said, command E, command D. These are the hotkeys that we will be applying using this particular module. And then we have a schedule and a web browser. Schedule just basically schedules your meeting or you can just mention it telling that this is the time that you need to join. And then we have a web browser that opens the link in our web browser that is default for your machine. So then we have two variables called link and time. Time is in 24 hours format and currently uh, let me just set it to, it's currently 1251 here. So I will just set it to 53. Let's explain this code for two minutes and then this is the link for the meeting then we have a function called define join so basically what this does is takes the web browser and opens a new tab with https and the link so this is just a string concatenation and then we are going to open that particular link in the preferred or default web browser once that we have opened the link in a web browser we are going to wait for seven seconds for so that it just loads this variable is up to your internet speed and you based on trial and error method you can do that you can just set it for 10 15 whatever your speed is on the loading time is so once the screen is loaded i need to make sure that i stop the mic and the camera so in order to mute the camera and the mic i need to use this hotkey so what i'll do is from atopi gui as ato what i'm going to do is ato dot hotkey and then the key 
keyboard combination. Uh, I'm using a Mac OS, so for me it is a command D and command E. And if you are on a Windows machine, you, what you can do is you can just uncomment these two lines of code and comment these two lines of code and it should work the same for you. So once done with that, uh, we need to click on the join now button. So in order to click on the join now button, we need to know the coordinates of the join now button. So how can you know the coordinates of the join now button? So yeah, I have created another Python file that helps you with locating the button. So what we'll be doing is I'll be giving the this code even in the description. What you can do is just import pi to GUI and time and then print pi to GUI dot position. It tells the position of your mouse. So let us run and check what is the position for our join now button. So let me come here. Let me just copy this meeting link and then uh, let me just go to the locate dot file and let me just right click and run the locate file. So once uh, we are done with that, let me just open up this, this and let me just paste the link, hit run and open full screen. So once this thing is opened in a full screen, what I will do is I will just come here and wait for the join now button to pop up and just place the join my mouse on the join now button. Let me just wait for a while so that it just continuously print the join now buttons x comma y coordinates so that it will help me to understand. So I have waited for a while. Let me go back and kill the function. I mean the kill the file. So here you can see we have a repeated value of 1034 and 569. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this, come back to the file and go down and let me just paste, paste this beside here and copy this x coordinates and copy this y coordinates okay so now that we have x comma y coordinates it's time to test because we are almost done because we are making it mute both things and we are going to join and then we have uh, something called as schedule so as i said we are going to schedule it so schedule every day at time time is 24 hours format and then we have do something that is join that is this function call and then uh, while true the schedule dot run whatever is pending so once done with the code uh, explanation let's check it in the real time let me just go here let me just kill this okay and get back to the code and let me just run this let me just check out the time it's 1255 right now let me set it to 1256 so let me just hit on run and let's wait and watch uh sorry i need to run this particular file let me just terminate this okay so now that i have started running the zoom bot sorry uh, i just named it wrong you can name it as google meet bot so let me just wait for a few more seconds and it should work automatically let's see Just one more thing that you need to make sure is you have your uh, Chrome browser opened so that it just creates a new tab there and make sure the whenever the browser is open, it should be on a complete screen. So let's just wait for a while so that it's 1258. Yeah, so we can see that it just popped up the Google Meet link. And now that you can see in a fraction of a second, it just muted the mic and it just muted the camera and it has joined both hands up. So this is how we are going to join this meeting and you can leave it uh, on your preferred time or what you can do is if you can set few delay for this many minutes. So that is uh, the time is for seconds. You can just multiply it with 60 and you can get the time in minutes and then you can click on 45 minutes 30 minutes whatever your time is and then just locate this uh, red bar and hit on that in order to end the meeting after this particular interval of time so successfully we were able to join the meeting and this was it and i would uh, really like to give a shout out to Drew lohar who just presented this code to me and i'm very glad and thank you for this code and i hope everyone liked this video so if you like this code, the code is given in the description. You can just copy paste this. And as I said, you can just install this libraries. If you have any difficulties, make sure you comment in the, you can just comment in the comment section and I will get back to you with the solution. 
I hope you learned how to build this Google Meet bot and I really appreciate that if you are going to build this one and let me know in the comment section uh, if any difficulties you face and let me try to solve that and if you have some other ideas that you want to be built on this channel make sure you leave a comment and I will make sure that I will try to give you that particular content so uh, I hope uh, this was an amazing video for you and if you like this video make sure you hit like share and subscribe that's it for today and see you in the next video until then take care and bye bye